I was not put on this earth to be a construction worker. My father, contractor, just typical Italian guy, loves construction. Every single summer when I was a kid, my father would try to take me to work. I was never good at it. I, I was really honestly bad at construction. I passed out one day. I broke my finger one day. I threw asphalt on the back of my dad's partner. Asphalt. It's like 250 degrees, and I threw it on his back. He once let me drive the roller to press asphalt, and I almost drove it into a glass building. Just not good at it. One day, 1989, my dad says to me, Jim, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Phil Donahue's house to do a, a new septic tank. You come with me. Now, I'm kind of excited, actually, because it's, uh, it's Phil Donahue's house. And for those of you who don't know who Phil Donahue is, he was a... A TV show host, one of the first like TV show hosts that nailed topics every day on Donahue. You know, like your wife's cheating on you. Next on Donahue, he's married to Marlo Thomas from That Girl on TV. And I, I agree to go to work with my father, and we take his truck and we get buzzed into his estate. And we open up to his huge mansion, and they're overlooking the water, and they have a pool and a tennis court. And I was like, Dad, where's all this music coming from? And he goes, Gee, let me show you. It's rock, it's fake, it's a speaker system in there, and you can hear it. And for once, I'm actually enjoying construction. I'm thinking, I'm having a good day with my pop. So we dig up the old septic tank. Now we put in the new tank. We connected the old pipes, you know, from the house into the new tank. And now we got to backfill. So as you start backfilling the old hole, it starts turning into a bit of a, a shit swamp, a little bit of a shit pond. Big, good size shit pond. My dad's employee Vito, he's on the backhoe, and he's backfilling with the backhoe, and I'm backfilling with my dad with shovels, but it's only so much you can do with the shovel. So my dad says, Jim, Vito's gonna finish the rest, just come back to the house. I'm like, Pop, please, I'm helping. Today I'm a construction worker. So I'm shoveling little shovelfuls of dirt into the, the shit pond, and I look up and I see Vito on the backhoe, and he's about to hit a big boulder to this pond. And he knocks it in, and it falls about five feet into the brown murk. And it created a tidal wave of shit. Phil Donahue, Marlo Thomas, and whoever else was a guest at that house. Let's just say Sinatra came by. Let's say Sinatra shit was in this tidal wave. And it's above me, and it just splashes down on top of me, covering me from head to toe in shit, piss, Little bits of toilet paper. Everything is just covered in shit. I'm spitting. It's in my eyes. Oh my God. It's in my nose. Kicking it out. Oh my God. Is this, is this, am I, did I swallow it? And I turn around, you know, because I'm like, oh, Dad. Oh my God. And he's standing there against the house with this sort of smirk on his face, sort of a knowing smile, a I told you so expression. And he's holding a running hose that he's about to spray me with. And so he just gestures me over, like, come here. And he hoses me down, he hoses all of the celebrity shit off of my body. And he never asked me to come to work again. I never went back to work again in the world of construction. And I think we're both happier for it. <laughs>